Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. This is the Friedman Golden Pearl Overdrive. Now the idea behind this pedal was to not necessarily uh, design a pedal that had uh, mass amounts of gain or, uh, or overdrive. Um, this pedal's really designed to push amps. So if you've got a clean kind of Fender-based uh, tube amplifier and you want to get a really great crunch sound out of it, this will get you there. It'll be nice and open and uh, big sounding. But if you're using a more overdriven amp, say a Marshall-based amp, um, or even something like a Friedman uh, Dirty Shirley amplifier, um, you can have it dialed a little more gainy with a little bit more crunch, and then you can use this pedal to push it into higher gain, more saturated solo tones or uh, rhythm tones. So let's get right into the controls. Top left is your volume control. That's the overall output of the box. In the center is your drive control. And that, of course, uh, controls the amount of overdrive. And on the top right is your tone control, which is essentially your treble. Now, bottom left, there's a switch. That's the high cut switch. So when it's in the center, you're not going to cut any top end. When you put the switch in the down position, it's going to cut a little bit of top end. If you put it in the up position, it's going to cut even more top end. And we'll get into how that interacts with the tone control in the demo. On the right side, you have a voice switch. And what that's allowing for is to choose between uh, either a silicon diode or LED clipping. So when it's in the up position, that would be your LED clipping, which is gonna work better, uh, in my opinion, for uh, clean amps. And then in the down position, you're gonna get diode clipping, which I think works a little bit better into the front end of uh, broken uh, or slightly overdriven amplifiers. And then of course, in the center, um, it's uh, essentially no clipping, so you're using the, uh, the volume and the tone to push the amp. So we'll get into all that in the demo. So without further yammering on, it's the Friedman Golden Pearl Overdrive. Okay, let's check this out. I'm going to use my Sur Classic Pro Strat, and we're going to start with my Sur uh, Bella amplifier, which is kind of an American-voiced Fender thing, and then we're going to go down to my Friedman uh, Dirty Shirley and let you check that out as well. The point uh, in doing that is to show you how uh, the Golden Pearl can be used as a uh, basically a push box to kind of drive amps harder. If it's a clean amp, it's going to give you a crunch sound. If it's a dirtier amp, you're going to be able to drive that amp into higher kind of saturated sounds. But we'll go ahead and start with the uh, the Bella. So here's just the guitar into the amp. And here's the Golden Pearl. So right now I've got it on the LED clipping, which I think does work uh, better into a uh, amp that's dialed for clean. And yeah, it's set up just to kind of crunch a little bit. Now the first thing I want to check out is the uh, high cut switch. Like right now, it might be a little too... Uh, maybe a little too sizzly uh, for a solo voice, but for the crunch thing... It was nice and clear. I could play chords that were slash chords or altered chords, and they sounded nice and clear. But if you did want to cut some top end, you've got a three-way switch. So right now it's in the middle. We're not cutting anything. If we put it in the down position, it's going to cut a little bit of top end. If I put it in the up position, it's going to cut even more top end. And that still sounds great, but it's got a little bit less sizzle there. But what's awesome about that is, especially if you turn up the drive and then you want to start cranking your tone control up a little bit, it's actually going to add some mids. <laughs>
that gives you a, a, a feel for not only the, the tone and high cut uh, dial ability, but also I just kind of swept the drive all the way up to max so you could hear what was going on there. <laughs> Now, real quick, I'll switch to uh, the silicon, the diode uh, clipping, so you can hear how that sounds. Now, the volume will drop a little bit when you switch from LED to uh, diode, so keep that in mind. <laughs> That sounds great too, but I think that's going to be better suited uh, for uh, a higher gain amp. And speaking of which, let's just go ahead and switch over to the uh, the Dirty Shirley. Let's hit number five on my amp switcher. So now this is just the uh, the Dirty Shirley by itself. And you can hear I'm running quite a bit more gain there. Because this uh, overdrive pedal is really designed to push amps. So there's just the amp. And I'll turn the golden pearl on and we'll have it in the uh, diode setting. So that's uh, how that clipping sounds with uh, with the Friedman. Now we can go ahead and switch up to the, the LED one. I'm going to turn it down a little bit because it'll be hotter. So that's LED clipping and then silicon dial clipping. I think there's really any set rule to how to use this pedal and which clipping function to use. And matter of fact, you can put it in the middle and essentially there is no clipping, there's no drive. Now you're just using the volume and the tone control. So here's the pedal off. So now that's no clipping. It's basically just using the volume and tone control. So this is a really versatile overdrive pedal that's designed to push amps. So we just heard the Bella being pushed uh, from clean to a really great crunch sound and maybe a little bit beyond that. And then we switched down to the Friedman, which was already pretty crunchy. And we turned that into uh, more of a saturated solo sound amp and a higher gain kind of just uh, saturated rhythm sound amp. So with any other questions, go to the uh, website and check it out. And as always, I appreciate you guys tuning in and we will see you next time.